Alright, now we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you from my lovely balcony here in Yokosuka, Japan. That's uh, Sarashima in the background there on the reflection. So um, today I wanted to have a little change of locale, just to uh, change things up and stuff. But uh, I also wanted to talk to you guys and make a major announcement. So um, for those of you who follow me on my other social media outlets, you'll already know what I'm going to talk about. But for those who don't, I just wanted to make the announcement on YouTube and let you guys know that I've officially, as of today, been accepted into Western Michigan University for uh, the Computer Information Systems program. And I'm really excited and uh, just um, relieved, I guess, because this, is, this has been a long time coming for me and uh, getting a second chance at uh, college again. So um, in addition to making this announcement, I also wanted to talk to you guys about my uh, previous college experience. Now, um, <clears throat> keep in mind, um, I'm a little older, a little wiser now, so uh, I definitely have full confidence I'm gonna graduate this time. But uh, last time, I wasn't so, uh, wasn't really so lucky, I guess you'd say. So, um, I graduated high school back in 2004. I know I'm old. <laughs> but anyway, graduated back in 2004. Um, got accepted into ITT Technical Institute in Dayton, Ohio uh, the previous year. So I got like a bad case of senioritis uh, that last semester because they were like, eh, just come in with your diploma, you'll be good to go. So I didn't really have to worry about grades as long as I passed. So I passed, obviously. <laughs> So I got accepted in ITT Tech, graduated in 2004, uh, graduate high school rather, in 2004. I didn't really have that much of a break in between high school and tech school. So like I graduated in June, I started in like mid-June, so I only had like a two week break really. And then uh, the first week of July, right before uh, Independence Day for America, um, my dad uh, sadly passed away of cirrhosis, which is um, just basically drank himself to death essentially so it was a, uh, a really rough time for me and everything so like I took a week off from school from work and just you know tried to get myself together again and it still kind of bothers me a little bit even today but you know I've got a better handle on it now than I did back then so I was going to tech school which was about 120 miles round trip you know twice a, twice sometimes three times a week and it eventually took a toll on my car because I was also working essentially full-time at McDonald's as well just to pay the bills and stuff so um, you know they wouldn't make me work you know legit full-time I had to obviously take extra long lunch breaks or if it was kind of slow they let me go just to shave off a couple extra hours so that way they wouldn't have to pay me you know full-time benefits and stuff like that it's kind of kind of a shitty way of doing things but you know it's Ten years after the fact, so I'm not going to But anywho, um, so I did that, um, and eventually my car broke down. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so I uh, decided to uh, lease a car, which is a bad idea. I don't recommend doing that. Um, so now, instead of owning my own vehicle and having much lower insurance because I own the vehicle, I now have to you know make a car payment and then make a higher insurance payment because the car is leased and uh, had you know account for all these extra expenses in addition to the expenses I already had you know it's like cell phone and other things gas being one of them um, stuff like that and uh, it just kind of wore on me after a while and I keep in mind I was like 18 19 years old at the time so you know I was you know, very new to this whole thing and just the, the scale of it rather because, you know, I had, a, I had a car in high school and a job and stuff like that, but it, it definitely ramped up when uh, I became a for realsies adult <laughs> and uh, stuff like that. So um, I decided to transfer schools because my best friend Eric, also known as the Talk of the Dolkin, was uh, going to college at the time as well. And uh, he was going to like a, a, an actual like four-year university in Urbana, Ohio. You know, Urbana University, not to be confused with the one in Illinois. So anyway, um, during a uh, quarter where I'd have to, to take like a night class, because the way they did things is, um, just to make a long story short, 
ITT Tech was also dabbling into the online courses as well, but keep in mind this was like 2004, 2005, so um, online courses aren't nearly where they are today as they were back then, so if you had any kind of questions or stuff like that, you'd basically have to go to like an online forum and eventually wait for your teacher to get back to you. And you know, they may be in like a different time zone or sometimes even a different country, so. Um, that was kind of discouraging, you know, they didn't have like an instant messenger set up or anything like that. So, and also being that I was a working adult, you know, I didn't really have the time to, you know, futz around waiting for the question to be answered on the message board. It's just like, you know, it's either, it's usually like a quick little yes or no question that I had, you know, nothing too mind-blowing. But, um, yeah, they just weren't really around to help, the communication was poor. And uh, I was starting to get a little discouraged, but um, IHT Tech uh, kind of got wind about it, not just from me, but from other students as well. So they decided to incorporate what's known as a hybrid class. So basically, you'd still do all the work online like you normally do, but in addition to that, you'd also have to go to class, go to like a night class, where you know they'd have like an actual instructor there. You know, you could work on homework there. If you had any questions, you could ask them, which was a great idea in theory. Uh, the teachers that I had, though, you know, were kind of inattentive and kind of iffy and busy helping other students or whatever the case, you know. It's always something. <laughs> so um, I got a little bit better with the online classes, but not by much. But anyway, getting back to the Urbana thing, um, I would often go, I, most of my classes would be in the morning. So I, you know, go down to Dayton in the morning and then, you know, usually come back home after class. But on days where I had a night class, I also had a morning class as well. So to me, it didn't really make much sense, you know, going to Dayton, back home to Salina, Ohio, where I'm from, and then back to Dayton for the night class and then back to Salina. So um, in between the, uh, the, you know, when I got off from the day class and when I got from the night, or before the night class, um, I'd go over to uh, to Eric's college and just you know hang out with them and you know kind of just relax a little bit, just as something to do in between classes and stuff. And uh, you know Urbana was a, a lot more of a relaxed pace than uh, IT Tech was. You know, and um, I was just kind of you know kind of jealous actually. <laughs> of uh, the slower pace at you know which these guys were dealing with stuff you know they they didn't really have you know like full-time jobs you know they might have worked like a couple hours here and there and even then it was just for something to do and maybe a little pocket change nothing too major but um, I would just sit there for a couple hours and you know hang out with them chill watch TV play video games play Magic the Gathering whatever <laughs> you know just did whatever, and you know, I, I met his college friends, which later became my own friends, you know, and uh, we just had a lot of fun. And you know, I was just kind of sitting thinking, like, why don't I just come here? Because like, I already know you guys, you know, I already know people. It's not going to be a completely fresh start for me. It's really nice, laid back. You know, you guys still get st stuff done, but it's not like a breakneck pace at what I'm doing. So I'm just like, you know, I was kind of getting burnt out with IT Tech at the time anyway. So I decided to, uh, to transfer from IT Tech to Urbana University in, in the fall of 2006. And uh, yeah, it was just a huge relief for me. And uh, you know, I got rid of the car, which was another bad idea financially, because I eventually had to pay for it. And it's all paid for now, but uh, you know, that was after the fact. But um, yeah, I eventually just dropped a lot of my expenses. You know, I got rid of my cell phone, and got rid of the car, which was another big expense, you know, this, that, and the other, and just decided, you know what? The whole IT Tech thing didn't work out because I was too focused on, you know, my job, and my car was a big liability. So that's another reason why I wanted to go to, to uh, Urbana, was so I could, you know, just get rid of all that and just focus on study and just focus on college. And then, you know, maybe after I get used to it, you know, I can get a car and get all this other stuff back. But, you know, at least college, is, you know, my education is number one. So um, I went over there and the first semester, now keep in mind, this was uh, the first time I was actually 
um, on my own because with IHD Tech, I was still staying in my parents' house, you know, commuting to college and stuff like that. So this is my first real taste of freedom because, you know, I lived in the dorms and stuff. So um, I didn't really know how to uh, how to handle myself at the time. You know, I just you know I would kind of ditch class and go hang out with my friends and just kind of dink around and do whatever. You know, and uh, eventually my grades kind of suffered because of it. <laughs> so I got put on academic probation, and uh, I was really scared about the whole thing because I thought I was going to get kicked out of college and stuff. So I wrote this. You know, appeal. You know, this appeal letter to you know, please let me come back. You know, I'll try harder next time. You know, blah blah blah, stuff like that. And so Urbana eventually was like, okay, cool, you get another shot. And then they, you know, started going through all these things of, you know, hey, if you get, you know, good enough grades, you may be eligible for like a scholarship program where, you know, you can get like a half ride scholarship or like a full ride scholarship. And I'm like, all right, cool, this is good stuff. So for the second semester, I tried extremely hard and uh, just went full force at it, you know, and didn't hang out with my friends that much, you know, just was like, I'm gonna get my life back together, it was gonna be good. And uh, I got word from my financial advisor that um, while the grants would be good for the semester I'm currently serving, they wouldn't be able to backdate that stuff. So even if I were to get the, uh, the voucher or the grant or whatever for this semester it was not going to count for last semester so I would have to find some way of paying them back for the previous semester even if I did get the uh, scholarship so I was really disheartened about the whole thing and also um, when I went to Urbana University that's when my mom remarried so while I was going to IT Tech I only had to list her as you know as like an income source quote unquote you know I only had to list her income instead of her and my stepdads. So I was able to qualify for a lot of grants based on that. So at IT Tech, I didn't have to worry about money so much. But at Urbana, I did because that's when she remarried and then I had to add his income into it. And uh, it basically disqualified me from a lot of the grants that I was getting at IT Tech and uh, <laughs> ended up, you know, not really having uh, the means to, you know, continue going to Urbana. And you know, hearing that even if I were to do good this semester and get the grant, it wouldn't matter because I wouldn't be able to continue next semester because they would have to, I would have to find means to pay the MAC, basically. So I was constantly in the financial aid office, you know, talking to the staff, seeing if there's anything I can qualify for, anything I can do, any paperwork I got to sign, you know, give me something. You know, it's your job, right? You're the financial department. You know, it's your job to make sure that. You know, I can be able to afford going to college and to help me find grants and stuff so that way, you know, I can continue going and stuff. And uh, I don't know, it was just a bad deal. So I ended up going to like a really, a really dark depression during that time. And, uh, you know, it was just like I wouldn't go to class, I wouldn't see my friends, you know, I would only leave my room to you know, eat, shower, pee, whatever the case may be, and that would be it pretty much. So, um, yeah, I was just, <laughs> you know, so um, obviously my grades suffered because of that, and uh, at the end of the uh, spring 2006 semester, or the 2007 semester rather, excuse me, um, I got kicked out of Urbana because of A, low grades, and B, I couldn't afford continuing to go there. So um, the following three years after that um, were kind of a transitional period for me because I was focusing on trying to get back into college, and I didn't really know how, and I was so caught up, I was so behind on bills, and it was just, it was just a really dark time for me. And uh, in 2010, I decided to join the U.S. Navy. Um, five years, five years later, you know, I've gotten my life back together, got my life back on track. You know, I'm a lot more disciplined now than I was then. I've learned so much, you know, since then. And uh, I just, I honestly can't wait to, uh, you know, just, you know, start, start over again, going back to college. And 
I really look forward to it, and uh, I'm definitely going to be making a lot of new videos uh, while I'm out there in Kalamazoo. There's a lot to see, and um, just looking up all these little landmarks and stuff like that just for video ideas. And it's really exciting, you know, I'm getting pumped up about it. So, um, yeah, this is, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, so hopefully my camera doesn't overheat <laughs> soon. But um, yeah, man, like, like I said, I'm really excited to be going to Western Michigan, and I'm definitely going to do better this time, get my degree this time, and life will be sweet. So, with that said, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. Thinking you guys, tuning in as always, and watching my other stuff. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. Shit. <laughs> it's the little button. It's like here, here. I don't know where things are in the video, but it says subscribe. It's somewhere. Click the button. Whatever. Uh, but anyway, uh, for those of you who are already subscribed, I want to thank you guys for liking, thumbs, commenting, subscribing, like I said. And uh, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.